guys I've not done a plastering tips video for a long time uh, so today I'm using this product here thistle bonding coat so I thought I'd give you a quick um, tour talk about thistle bonding coat where to use it and where not to use it now I've got a, a utility room here guys and the original plan with this room was to sort the ceiling out which was shot to bits so that's been overboarded um, but we're also insulating this cold wall here nine inch solid wall and we are installing uh, some of this stuff here which is a 30 mil xps board extruded polystyrene um, so that was the original plan but the customers asked if we can do anything with these old painted walls um, that they were never plastered um, so i said yeah we'll tidy them up for you no problem um, so just to show you what we're up to these walls they never had plaster on or architrave so i've just pinned some new archies um, around the door liners that will give me something to work to with the plaster um, but what we've got here is basically painted brick as you can see um, so this is perfect for thistle bonding coat now i know there's a lot of um, confusion um, with um, you know beginners and newbie plasterers um when it comes to backing plaster because you know we've got things like sand and cement we've got hard wool we've got um browning obviously i don't know if they still do browning um and then we've got of course um, bonding coat as well now the reason that i'm using bonding coat on this surface is because the surface is painted and it's very smooth paint almost um, like a gloss um and it's probably got multiple layers of paint um now thistle bonding coat is designed for low suction surfaces now because this has got a quite a shiny paint on there that would be um falling into that category low suction if i was to use hard wall on here guys or sand and cement it wouldn't be ideal because it wouldn't get we wouldn't get much of a grab onto that surface because it's smooth um so yeah just a very quick video today just to talk about thistle bonding coat where you would use it where you wouldn't use it now if this was um bare brick without the paint on or new block work then i would opt for hard wall which is designed for medium to low uh, sorry medium to high suction surfaces so the properties within the hard wall mean that you can apply it to a surface that is quite thirsty um, and it won't pull the moisture out of the, the material too fast uh, whereas with uh, thistle bonding coat if you were to use that on say um, concrete block or thermalite block it would literally pull the life out of the mix immediately which is that's the difference between the two they're very similar products um, but thistle bonding coat has um, aggregate inside which gives it that bond and that grab so as you can see the wall is relatively flat and plumb and there's that much paint on there i don't really need to be going um half inch uh, in thickness and the same on this side relatively um, flat and plump already so just a a skim of bonding coat again four mil five mil um get that trialed up once that's picked up i can skim so we're looking to get the ceiling on this um, and the window wall which again has been insulated with the um, xps board which save around 40 percent on um, heat loss on that um, external wall so i hope that information helps guys uh, a bit of guidance there on some backing plasters so there we have it guys first little set using the thistle bonding coat i'd like to say this set was enjoyable um but i'd be lying to you trying to get around this horrible pipe I've got the boxing in there the conduit I'm about to pull a radiator off here and extend the cable put some window boards on and whatnot and just getting around all these little yeah it's been horrible <laughs> but we're on so the next task is to um get some bonding coat on this wall here and this one but before i can do that i've got to move these two appliances and take some bits and pieces off the wall guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure to do that and if you've not joined the facebook group trial talk plasters help group on facebook got a thriving group on there it's a great community of lads and lasses 
I'll put a link in the description so you can join. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.